Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Welcome back to the virtues of the Hijjah. So in another narration where the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the benefits of these good deeds, the Prophet ﷺ said, there are no days in which good deeds are greater or more beloved to Allah than on these 10 days. The Prophet ﷺ said, so because of that, recite more of La ilaha illallah, tahleel and takbir, which is Allahu Akbar, and tahmeed, which is Alhamdulillah. So say more of the forms of dhikr, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, and of course, tasbih as well, SubhanAllah, and others. So the Prophet ﷺ specifically here is saying that we need to increase in our remembrance of Allah in these 10 days, and he's mentioning the phrases that we typically would recite. Now, tahleel, La ilaha illallah, once again, you're really gonna affirm that more than anything else on the day of Arafah. But throughout these 10 days, right, the Prophet ﷺ said that the best form of dhikr, the best form of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is La ilaha illallah. So keep your tongue moist with La ilaha illallah, constant affirmations, and that's throughout the year. Here, the Prophet ﷺ also, as the scholars point out, is speaking to quantity. So it's the quality of those affirmations, but he's also speaking to the quantity in which he would mention these phrases of remembrance, particularly uh, in these days. And there are things that, that we find from the practices of the companions that uh, we could implement today. So for example, it's narrated in Bukhari that in the first 10 days of the Hijjah, Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with him and his father and Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, they used to go out through the marketplace, constantly reciting takbir, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillah alhamd. Now these are phrases that you only hear on Eid day usually, but they would go out throughout the 10 days, reciting these in the marketplace, and the people would join in with them and they'd start to recite takbir as well. Now, if you live in the West, I don't recommend you go into a mall and start shouting Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, right? But there's a point that's to be stressed here that if that's what used to be done in the marketplace, then we should remind ourselves in our homes, you know, as our families, like, hey, it's the first 10 days of the Hijjah, let's recite Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Let's increase the forms of dhikr. And they would do them loudly to remind everyone else and the people would join as well. Uh, we do so going in and out of the masajid, after our prayers, walking into our prayers, walking out of our prayers, emphasizing that, uh, that, that, uh, that repeated form of dhikr over and over and over again. And this is one of the sunnas, again, that is really, really left out. You know, you find abandoned, particularly uh, in these 10 days. This is also another way for us to connect in a special way with the Prophet who is honored most after the Prophet ﷺ within these 10 days, which is Ibrahim ﷺ. Because these words of remembrance were given in the form of an advice and a conversation between the Prophet Ibrahim ﷺ, Abraham, and the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ on the night of Al-Isra and Mi'raj. The Prophet ﷺ said that I met Ibrahim ﷺ on the night of the Ascension, on the night of Al-Isra and Mi'raj. And he said to me, O Muhammad, convey my greetings to your ummah, convey my greetings to your nation. So Ibrahim sent salam to us. And then tell them that paradise has a vast plain of pure soil and sweet water and is set as a plain leveled land. The plants grow here by subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. The seeds of these trees, the seeds of these plants in paradise are SubhanAllah, how perfect is Allah, Alhamdulillah, all praises to Allah, La ilaha illallah, there is no God but Allah, Wallahu Akbar, and Allah is the greatest. So these forms of dhikr that we say are the seeds that are uh, that, that are meant for the soil of Al-Jannah, for the soil of paradise. And this came in a conversation between Ibrahim alayhi salam and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said to us, salam, that he sent peace to us and said, remind them to say these words frequently because that's how they continue to plant their trees in Al-Jannah. So if that's for throughout the year, then what then of these 10 days where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, أَكْثِرُوا fihinna, Be plentiful, make sure that you do a lot of this, these forms of remembrance, constantly saying, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. So we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to accept our dhikr, our remembrance, inside of these 10 days and outside of these 10 days and to allow us to keep our tongues moist with these remembrances as well as our hearts saturated in them. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.